In this video, we're given a quadratic equation, x squared minus 2x plus p equals 0. But given that minus 3 is a root, we're going to ask to find what p is. And we're going to be asked to find out what the other root of x is. So where do we start? We've got two unknowns. But what we do know, one of the values, one of the roots is negative 3. So when x equals negative 3, y equals 0. So we just substitute that in to help us find p. So that becomes negative 3 squared take 2 times negative 3 plus p equals 0. All right, so that's 9 plus 6 plus p equals 0. Well, p equals negative 15. 9 plus 6 is 15. I've got to take it onto the other side to find what p is. So p equals negative 15. So that means my equation is x squared take 2x take 15 equals 0. Now we know that negative 3 is a root. So it's going to be, we factorize x plus 3 is a root. Well, it's very straightforward. What do we times 3 by to get 15? Well, negative 15 is going to be negative 5. And we know negative 5 plus 3 is 2. Negative 5 times 3 is 15. There it is. We factorize. So P equals negative 15. Other root is 5. Factorized. Okay, so using the information in the question, we can solve it. We try and, when you see x squared minus 2x plus p equals 0, it's very hard to find the value of p when you've got two unknowns. But we know when we see minus 3 as a root, we know that at, when x equals minus 3, y equals 0, and we can work with that and solve the question.